Guys, welcome to another video on the channel. My name is Montel Gordon and in today's video, we're actually gonna be jumping in onto my computer and showing you exactly how you should go about setting up your Zoom meetings in a very automated and streamlined process. This is a strategy that I came across around two years ago at this point. I believe it was around two years ago. Don't quote me on that, but I've been using it ever, ever. Since the whole world's gone crazy, it's become more and more prevalent that online meetings are becoming more and more you know, um, accepted and they're the best things to do. I've been doing online meetings ever since I started my agency, I don't know why you would still do in-person meetings. So what I'm gonna be doing today is showing you exactly how you should go about automating your online meetings and actually how to set them up in a very professional way that's going to make you look super, super clean and super professional to your potential clients. So before I get into this, guys, please make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you turn on a little notification bell if you're new around here as well. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into this. So guys, let's talk about how you should go about handling your meetings and how to automate this. Now, the first thing I highly recommend you do guys is come to acuityscheduling.com. It's this particular business right here that's a, actually a, a Squarespace company. Now you can use other calendar software. So if you don't know what this is guys, by the way, this is a calendar software. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite calendar software. I actually prefer this over stuff like um, Calendly and want, Schedule Once or whatever it's called. The reason why I prefer it over like um, Calendly, I do admit Calendly does look more professional than Acuity Scheduling in terms of you know getting people to actually book in. But the reason why I like Acuity Scheduling is because it actually has like a an address book. So whenever somebody actually books in a meeting on your calendar, for example, you are actually given their your, your their details are actually logged and stored within like an address book within Acuity Scheduling. So that's one of the reasons why I love using Acuity Scheduling. Now, guys, what you want to do is make sure you get the emerging plan. This is the plan I've been using ever since I started my agency ages ago. I um, can't even remember how long ago it's been, to be honest with you. I'll look back on my channel and actually let you guys know. Uh, but yeah, it's been a long, long time since I started my agency and I've always got this particular plan. This is going to pay for itself 10 times over. This is the most important software in my entire arsenal. This and Zoom are my, you know, my two most important software. I use this for booking calls with e-commerce business owners. I use this for booking calls with uh, coaching students, with, from my YouTube. I use this for, um, embedding onto my websites, onto my funnels. I literally use this entire software to run my entire business. It also syncs in with my iCalendar because I'm a Apple user. It literally syncs in with my Apple calendar. So you can see like whenever I click on my little window here, you can see like little discovery calls and stuff like that actually coming in. As you can see, I closed a client the other day. So we're having a growth, um, excuse me, we're having a, a strategy session here and we've got another follow-up call with a, a Upwork client here. Um, hopefully that's a close as well. So as you can see, I literally run my whole entire business on this and it syncs in with my iPhone, my iPad, my MacBook, everything that's basically linked to iCloud. It also links to your Google Calendar and stuff like that. So what you wanna do is get the emerging plan. The reason why you're going to get the emerging plan is because of this right here, confirmation reminders and follow-up emails. So what's basically gonna happen, guys, is when you go to book in a call, instead of being super unprofessional and being like, hey, John, you know, can we can we get on a call? And then John replies back to you saying, yes, yeah, sure, Montel, do you have times? Are you available Tuesday? And then instead of me having to go and look through my calendar and say, yeah, I'm available Tuesday at 3 p.m. UK time, what time is that in, in the US? And having to look around. Instead of doing that, what I do is I literally just send them over a calendar link. He then clicks on my calendar link and books in a slot and fills out a questionnaire. And then what happens is he gets an immediate confirmation email that is a meeting's actually been successfully booked with me and then what also happens is he gets reminded emails 24 hours before the call six hours before the call and one hour before the call I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you set that up as well with the emerging plan you don't get text message reminders but if you get the growing plan which I don't have and I've never actually bought I might actually buy it because it actually will probably pay for itself tenfold but I just you know for now just stick to the emerging plan as you can see it's $15 per month and again it's totally justified for this price so you're gonna go and get acuity scheduling and you're going to to get this particular plan here and it's a seven day free trial. So the next piece of software you're going to use is Zoom. So Zoom is basically like Skype, but the better version of Skype because you don't need to, um, you know, add people on Skype and then jump on a call with them you actually get given a personal meeting ID and a unique URL here, which is obviously blocked off. I'm not gonna show you that because obviously you can jump on calls with me if I'm you know, talking to a client, it's not gonna be professional. So you get this particular link right here. Obviously you press show on yours. So once you've logged in and created an account, by the way, I use the complete free version of this. So I've never actually paid for Zoom ever. There's a limit on Zoom. So when it comes to Zoom, there's actually pricing on plans and stuff like that, but I've never got the um, paid plan. I actually just still use the um, free 
free plan. And what the free plan allows you is basically unlimited time on one-on-one -on -one calls, I believe it is, but a 40 minute limit if it's more than two people on the call. Um, so yeah, make sure that you obviously are not going to be jumping on calls that are longer than 40 minutes if you have like multiple clients on their end on the call because it's gonna look embarrassing if you you know have a 40 minute limit on there. So I don't recommend you buy it right now if you're tight on your cash flow. But what I do recommend is going to this, logging in, getting the free account, signing up, confirming, making sure you have a professional profile picture as well. And then what you're going to do is press show on yours and then you're going to copy this particular code for what we're going to do in a second. So what you're going to do is once you've logged into your acuity scheduling, you're going to immediately type in, go to your appointment types, should I say. So you're going to set your appointment types, which is going to look like this. So appointment types, all you're going to do is click on add new appointment type. And what this is going to allow you to do is create certain appointment types for your certain services that you're going to be offering. Or if you're going to be doing discovery calls, you can call them discovery calls. For me, I like to call them growth analysis calls or growth analysis sessions. And you actually want to customize your URLs here. So what you want to do is create an appointment type. If you're doing discovery calls, obviously call them discovery calls and have your link being, you know, your name dot or your business name dot as dot me forward slash discovery call. Looks very professional, very clean. So I highly recommend you make sure your actual ending of your links are professional. And all you have to do to change that is literally just change the link. Make sure they're not too long like this because that can actually look a little bit messy, even though this one's a little bit long. So with that being said, once you set up your appointment types, you're then gonna edit your default limits when you go to availability. So if you don't know how to get there, you go to your availability, you click on this, and then it should take you to a page that looks like this. I've just got it open in another tab just to make things easier. I recommend you kind of screenshot this and, and just use this as, as what I've got because I've split tested this a lot over the, over the years. So minimum hours, this basically means how soon into the future can a client book in a call with you. So if you send over your link right now to a client, they will only see times two hours from that particular time that they've clicked on the link. Now, the reason why you want to do that is because let's say you're out and about with friends or something like that, or you're at a family meal and you send over a link, a message via your phone or something like that, like reply to an email and they book in a call within the next 30 minutes. Well, then you're going to have to leave that dinner immediately and literally run all the way home or drive a super, super, or even teleport, if you will, to your particular house to actually get on the call. So I recommend you leave yourself, you know, with a two hour window there. Now, maximum days is basically how many days in advance can a, a client schedule in a call with you? So I recommend you leave this around three to five days. So the reason why is because you don't want to really go more than five days. The reason being, it sounds like a good thing to do, but it's not. Because think about it, if you're reaching out to a client and you spark that emotion, that desire, that you entice them to jump on a call with you, if you allow them to book in a call like 21 days in advance, they're going to completely forget who you are. They may even sign with another agency at that point, and they're just gonna be super cold when it comes to taking the actual call with you on Zoom, should I say. So what you also wanna do is set your time intervals as well. This is kind of like settings I have it. I'll kind of let you just go through this and let you guys uh, copy my sort of stuff. So look busy, you can actually add this to your calendar. I don't really like it though, because it just reduces the amount of times my potential clients can actually jump on call with me. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of appointment types. You don't need to worry about most of these sort of stuff. You're probably only going to need one or two appointment types, which might be like a growth analysis session and then like a MCG client strategy session, which is like a, it's like your call that you have after your onboarding. And then what you want to do is make sure you set your availability. And then what you can do is set when you're going to be available for. So if you're working a job and you work from like nine to five, for example, then you know that nine to six, that you're probably not going to be able to get on a call. So 6 p.m. afterwards is when you're probably going to be able to get on a call. So as you can see, I have my availability set for different particular days and set for different times. So as you can see today, we have, you know, uh, certain things available on this particular calendar, but not on this particular calendar because I'm actually starting my YouTubes and recording them on a, on a Saturday. It's a Saturday right now. So as you can see, you can be closed for certain days. You can be open for certain amounts of hours. So for example, 11 to 12, I'm open. And then I'm closed for lunch until 11.45 to uh, 7.15 PM. So I kind of recommend you set that up based around your day. And this allows you to plan your day very, very effectively because in the mornings before 11 AM, I'm doing my IPAs, which is, you know, my cold email and stuff like that and reaching out. Now, the most important thing you want to do when it comes to setting up your meeting software, your meeting system, if you will, is you want to make sure you go to your Zoom profile and then remember this thing that I said you should copy. You want to make sure you copy this. This is your unique Zoom meeting ID. So when a client gets an initial confirmation email, this is what it's going to say. So as you can see, we are on the email confirmation section. So again, you wanna copy that code I just showed you a second ago, the link. You wanna to go to your initial confirmation email and then you wanna scroll down. This you wanna leave the same, this you wanna leave the same, but the where section, you wanna edit this, literally just highlighting the text and deleting it, and you wanna paste in 
this code right here. You want to paste this code right into here because what's going to happen is uh, your clients are going to get this email saying, you know, new appointment and it's going to say the type of appointment, which would be, you know, maybe it's your growth analysis session. And then it will say that the person's first name, last name, and it will say what time it's on and uh, what calendar basically. So leave these all the same. You can actually leave these the same. These are placeholders, by the way, that will actually pull in a person's first name and last name and stuff like that. It will say what the event is, when it is, and the duration of the call. And it will also say where the call is here. But what you want to do is delete that section and put in your own unique meeting ID so that they know they need to click this particular link to actually join the call. And then what you want to do is go to your reminders section here. I'm not going to click on it right now. You want to go to your reminders section right here and you want to set your reminders to go out 24 hours before the call, um, six hours before the call and one hour before the call is what you're going to have. So basically that means when a client books in a call, they're going to get four emails sent to them. This initial confirmation email letting them know that their call was successfully booked and this is where it's going to be and this is the time and stuff. And then the reminder emails are basically the exact same thing but it's just saying you know this is a reminder this is and you want to do the same thing for your reminder emails you want to delete the where section again i'm going to repeat that in your reminder emails there's going to be three of them you're going to set up three of them each one of them you need to go to each one of them individually so your 24 hour email reminder you need to go to that your six hour reminder you need to go to that and your one hour reminder you need to go to that and you need to go to each individual one of them and delete out of them individually where it says this text here because your one will probably look like percentage sign where percentage sign is like the placeholder that they um, normally have in there. So you want to delete that out of there and then you want to paste in your Zoom meeting ID. Of course, this is a fake ID, so I'm gonna have to change this back. And your password, you want to make sure you put that in there as well. If you have a password, that is, and this passcode is this right here. So if you click on show here, this is your passcode. Sometimes Zoom has now, you know, because everybody's, you know, relying on Zoom and stuff like that for more and more meetings, more and more people are getting like hacked and stuff like that. I believe it's the reason why have a passcode. So yeah, guys, you also want to make sure that you copy over your passcode as well and put it into your email settings. Of course, this I'm just going to X mine out because I don't want you guys jumping on my particular Zoom meetings. So guys, the last thing you want to do is click on the intake form section and what you can actually do guys is actually set an intake form which is basically like when you send over your calendar link to a business owner that you've you know it's completely cold you can have you know questions that vet the potential client coming on the call before you even jump on the call this allows you to basically see what revenue they're making what their goals are what their obstacles are how they're um, generating sales and, and so forth so basically guys it's pre-qualifying questions that you can ask business owners before they even jump on a call with you which is a really good way to save time so that you can eliminate all the people off of your calendar who's not going to be a um, good fit so guys Guys, with that being said, I hope that you found some value in this. I hope that you guys go ahead and start crushing it with your meetings. This again is just a real professional way to automate your meetings because once you send your calendar link over to a potential client and they select a time, there's nothing you have to do on your particular end. The email reminders get sent out automatically. The potential client on the other end select their time zone. It automatically converts to your time zone. So there's literally no heavy lifting to do. It's very professional, very slick, very quick. And it's a really professional way to get high level clients on a call and then vet them before the call and then jump on a call all in one smooth integrated system from acuity scheduling all the way onto your zoom meeting and then you can host your meeting on zoom and again i recommend that you actually download zoom to your computer as the actual app instead of using the web version and um, yeah take your meetings like that there's no real reason for you not to be using zoom at a time like this guys the world is in you know complete chaos right now so online meetings is where it's at right now and this is how you go about automating them so guys with that being said hope you've enjoyed this hope you've seen some value in this if you have please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one real soon peace